Hey guys, Jessie here from Urban Legends Antiques and this week I am taking two mission style nightstands and I'm going to give them a little bit of a nautical vibe. We're going to do a an upcycle for my own personal furniture. So let's get started. I had these nightstands in our foster kids room for a little bit and I just decided I wanted to redo them. So I know I've redone things that are in worse condition than this, but for us, these are pretty beat up. Um, some of the button plugs have fallen off. They've got nicks and scratches all over it. So we're just going to repair them and redo them. It's summertime in sunny SoCal, which for us means we get a lot of company. We get a lot of visitors. We are about an hour to an hour and a half away from beaches, mountains, deserts, forests even and all of the theme parks. So we have a lot of visitors in the summertime. So we just put a little bit of glue on the bottom of the button plug and then push it into the hole where the screw is on the nightstand. These are the button plugs that I had been talking about in my video, what's in my booth bag. You'd be surprised how many times you end up using them on older pieces of furniture, like these mission style nightstands. This nightstand had a really bad case of the wibble wobbles and on further inspection we found that a bunch of the screws were loose on it so we just went around with our screwdriver and we were tightening all of the screws back down just to steady it up a little bit more. And now when we give the table a little shake it's all holding together really well. This is our storeroom and it is a hot mess. We need to get it turned back into a guest room. Chuck's tapping all of the button plugs into place with a hammer now that the glue's had a chance to dry a little bit. In addition to glue, this nightstand needs a little extra TLC. It was starting to split apart right there, so we had to put a clamp on it to hold it in place. A quick tour of our hot mess storeroom. This is my shipping area. I keep all my boxes here for shipping. This is part of our storage area where we keep stock that we do not put into the shop just yet. And then this is just the catch-all. It's ugh, the most horrible part. This is our little office area with our printers and scanners, our computer and everything. And I'm not the biggest fan of this desk or all of the junk that catches on it all the time. So I want to have some better storage where we can put everything away and just not have it out everywhere. Now that the clamp is off and everything's dried into place, I'm going to go through and give these nightstands a good cleaning. I'm just doing an inspection first to see where the problem areas are. I'm just giving a little scrub to the nightstands. These were in my foster kids room, so there's some like gunk and grime that I missed just from doing a quick wipe over. So I'm just, you know, my usual scrubbing down with Dawn and water and then we'll see where we're at. Now a quick rinse with a damp towel. The towel doesn't look that bad, so I'm not gonna do a second rinse. All right, my nightstands are all cleaned up and glued up and ready to be painted. First step is a light scuff sanding to the tops and the sides of the dresser to help the paint adhere better. I'm gonna move all of these boxes for shipping into the garage for now, and I wanna put my shelves with, that I keep supplies for the store into this area of the closet. I think this nightstand had got water spilled on it because it was a lot rougher and the, the veneer was lifting a little bit more than on the other one. I'm just wiping the dust off from sanding the piece because I do plan on stenciling on these so I want to have a nice clean top. I've chosen Powdered Snow by Chalky Chicks. It's a really bright white to redo these nightstands in and then I've also chosen Denali, Chalky Chick's number one bestseller. This is like a gorgeous blue. For the stencil, I've chosen a Jamie Ray vintage stencil. This is her grain sack stripe stencil. And then to paint with one of my zebra brushes, this is how I store them after I clean them to dry. I wrap them in the paper towel to keep the bristles straight. In case I run out of powdered snow, I have Cottontail, which is my backup white. And this is another bright white, but it has like a little bit of a pinkish undertone to it versus the powdered snow, which has a blue undertone to it. I'm going to hit the top of the nightstands with some shellac because I'm expecting bleed through since I sounded them. 
All right, you know the deal. You gotta spray that brush with a little bit of water before you get started. First coat going on. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Urban Legends Antiques. And I have a website with the paint that I'm using in this video available to purchase at www.urbanlegendsantiques.com. I'm painting the inside, outside, all of the corners of this table and it's using up quite a bit of paint. Moving on to the second table, I'm using a different brush to see if I can get better coverage. We need to utilize the space in this closet better. So my plan is to put a bookcase on top of this chest. So I need to get the kids toys out of here first. Now that that's done, I'm going to take this bookcase and put it on top of the chest. I got myself into quite a few pickles trying to rearrange everything in the room and get it cleaned up and ready for our company. I had to climb over this big old huge pile of books and the shipping stuff in the hallway to get to my bleach wipes to clean my bookcase. Pickle. Climbing over all the books and the boxes that were in the hallway was not fun, but I was able to get everything back into the bookcase and this part of the room is done. Check. Now that that's done, I went back into the garage to see how my tables were drying. Oh, I need to do a little bit of touch up. I did run out of powdered snow, which I had suspected. So I'm using cotton tail for my second coat. Once I get this second coat on, I'm going to let it dry and head back into the guest room to do some more work in there. Okay, still riding the hot mess express, but look at this. Wow. All right, now I gotta work on the bed and the rest of the room. Anybody else ever vacuum their bed to get all the dust off of it or just me? I'm in a corner, I'm trying to climb out. Pickle, but we're making progress. I got stuck between the beds and the door and it was hard to like climb over everything, but I was able to do it and now I'm just vacuuming under the bed before I start to rearrange. I'm giving the drawers a nice fresh coat of paint to match the nightstands. And now that that is all done, I'm spraying the nightstands with some clear coat before I start to stencil. The grain sack stencils from Jamie Ray Vintage come with three options. So I'm just choosing the one I want and I'm going to measure the table so I can get it exactly in the middle of the table. I'm using a stenciling brush and just a little bit of Denali blue that's on the top of the lid of the paint. And I'm just offloading it a little bit and I'm going to wipe it on a paper towel before I start to stencil. I should have taped it down, but instead of doing that, I just went straight in and started stenciling with it. And I noticed that when I tried to do a swirling technique that I was getting a little bit of bleed through. So instead I just was using my brush and going up and down on the stencil to get the nice straight lines. To avoid bleed through, remember you need to have a very, very dry brush. So I was just using a little bit of paint on the lid of the can and then wiping it off onto a paper towel. The reason I like the Jamie Ray Vintage stencils is because it's a thicker stencil than a lot of the stencils that you will buy at the craft store. So it's very, very forgiving and they're easy to use and you get a lot less bleed through because it's such a thick stencil. I'm going right back over onto the stencil. The paint is a very thin layer, so it dries really, really quickly. And then I can continue to stencil. Again, I should have taped it down, but I didn't my fault look at how good these stencils are though they're made to be used over and over again and because they're thicker they're also heavier so they don't lift and move as much so even though i didn't tape it it still came out really really good this is my third time trying out the jamie ray vintage stencils and i really like them i think i'm going to carry them on my website what do you guys think i'm going to stencil the second table and then i'm headed back into the bedroom to finish working on it I don't know if this is going to work or not. <laughs> mm, like trapped in a corner over here. Enough with all of the pickles. I'm done. How many times am I going to get trapped in this room? So this time I couldn't get into the room. I had moved everything towards the door and then I couldn't get back in to work on it. 
My nightstands are looking really, really good. I chose this stencil because the blue and white combo with the pinstripes reminded me of the classic deck shoes, the um, blue and white Vans deck shoes. So I'm just sanding them down now because I want to have more of a weather distressed look to them. The founder of Vans passed recently and it made me sad. Like I was surprised how sad I was to hear of his passing. I've worn these shoes my whole life so I just kind of wanted to honor him I guess in my own way. Now that the tables have gotten a light distress, I'm going over them again with one more coat of clear coat. I move the tables back into the guest room and it's starting to look like a bedroom. I've moved everything off of the desk and I've put it onto the bed. Ugh, the catch all. While all the linens and the curtains are washing for the bedroom, I've decided to take this desk apart and move a different desk into this room to use. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. This just broke. Another pickle. Oh well. I added a different desk into this room so that way the drawers can be the catch-all now instead of our guest bed. The nightstands are done, painted, and they're in the guest room ready for our first guests which are coming tomorrow. Here's the room all done. Not perfect, but ready for guests. This is the lamp you had seen us working on in another video. Here's our nightstands. This shelf, see it says tempered glass, I need to take the sticker off. This was on the desk that broke. But we have freshly laundered curtains, new blinds up. See there's some more of the uh, glass from the desk that broke. And our new desk looks so much better in here. And just in time, we are ready for some guests. Yay, summer. I'm Jesse from Urban Legends Antiques and thanks for coming along for the ride. Oh man, I broke my ring light. Ugh. Another pickle.